Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to migrate uh, the earthquake analysis part of uh, example 7. In this video tutorial, we will look in detail about uh, all the necessary OpenSpy commands required to perform earthquake analysis. Before we dive into today's tutorial, I want to take a moment to thank uh, all our subscribers. Your support really motivates us to consistently provide uh, valuable content in a timely manner. But at present, 80% of our viewers have not subscribed yet. If you like our content but have not subscribed yet, I request you to please subscribe to our channel. It's a small action but that goes a long way in encouraging us to create more tutorials like this. Let's dive into today's tutorial. As I said before, this tutorial is a continuation tutorial to one of our uh, previous videos, this one. In this tutorial, uh, we have converted the TCL scripts of uh, example 7 to Python scripts. Uh, here, we also explained about how we used ChatGPT in converting this uh, TCL scripts to Python scripts. So in this tutorial, we have discussed mainly about uh, modeling the building frame and uh, defining its sections, defining its uh, elements, defining nodes, and all the intricacies involved in creating this finite element model. And then we have applied this uh, cyclic pushover loads. And then we did the cyclic analysis in this particular tutorial. But now in our latest tutorial, we are going to extend this particular uh, analysis to earthquake analysis. Up to the gravity analysis, the code is same. We have not modified anything. After gravity analysis, we have removed the cyclic analysis code and we have added this earthquake analysis code. So up to gravity analysis, it's same the previous video and this video here we are specifying uh, the gm direction ground motion direction so you can look at the counter tcl code here so this is the tcl code if i look at here i am importing this uh, model file in this earthquake analysis file and after that they are reading this uh, read smd file dot tcl i'll come to that in a minute and after that we are specifying some properties like uh, ground motion direction earthquake file and uh, this ground motion scaling factor and then some analysis parameters like dt, tmax, etc. This here we are considering uh, 10 seconds only, but the actual ground motion that was considered is up to 39 seconds. We can do full or partial up to whatever limit we want. And followed by we are setting up some uh, Raleigh damping parameters. And uh, here we are considering the eigen modes of 1 and 3. And then we are doing the eigenvalue analysis and then we are extracting this. Uh, frequencies eigenvalues and then we are defining this alpha m beta k curve beta k com and uh, beta k init these values are required to specify this uh, Raleigh damping and then we are setting up our earthquake analysis load tag here some random 400 is assigned to this load tag and uh, we are setting up this uh, ground motion input file and the ground motion out file Ground motion input file refers to the actual ground motion that looks like this. It has a header and uh, it has some acceleration data. Within the header, it has two important numerical parameters that are the total number of points, data points and uh, the time step. So these two things are uh, very important. This total number of data points times this uh, DT gives us the total time of the ground motion, the total length of the ground motion in seconds. And uh, after conversion, it looks like this. So we have just removed this header. We have just removed this header and we just kept only the numerical acceleration data in this uh, converted format. This converted format, I'm saving it as G3, whereas the original input file is in the format .82. So in this read SMT file, what is happening is here, we are passing this uh, input file name and the output file name, and then we are passing one variable dt so dt initially it has zero here but this value will be updated within this file to this value so it will extract whatever the value this dt has and it will update this dt value with that value so here this is the code that uh, the uh, original authors have written so here we compare uh, strings line by line and then wherever the text has we just uh, remove that text and if that text has any specific words like dt or npts we just extract those points but in this particular code only dt has been extracted npts ha is not extracted but if you want we can extract the npts as well npts means this one dt means this one so in this particular example 7 we extracted only this uh, dt from this header and we just um, removed everything else and moved this numerical data into this uh, 
hE12140.z3 file. That's it. After doing that, this uh, read SMD file, we get one uh, earthquake analysis acceleration file like this, and then it has a DT value. And we are just multiplying with uh, acceleration due to gravity with this uh, scaling factor. And then we are defining one uh, acceleration series. It's a time series information. Here we are specifying a DT file path, all information, and then we are defining a pattern, and then we are doing analysis. So when it comes to Python, we are also doing the same thing here. So let's put these two side by side here, as I said. Here, this ground motion, this information has been defined like this, and this DT has been defined like this. And uh, the other uh, stuff, like uh, the analysis type, like setting up uh, the constraints, number or system, and um, the other parameters for uh, convergence testing. In TCL, they have defined it in another uh, file here. Uh, lib analysis dynamic parameters .tcl. in this file uh, these values are defined but i defined uh, directly in this particular uh, model file these are the total number of uh, iterations if everything works fine we will use these number of iterations if there are any convergence issues then we will change this number dynamically and then we are using this uh, modified newton algorithm and then we are using this uh, energy incur test we are setting up this uh, gamma value as 0.5 and the beta value as 0.25 here like this and uh, this is how we define uh, the integrator transient integrator we are using this uh, new mark integrator this one we are using this new mark integrator and we are defining this uh, gamma value and uh, beta value here if you look at the transient integrator command this new mark method so if you look at uh, the original integration definition it also takes these values new mark as the integrator keyword and gamma and beta and this form is optional argument. We don't need to specify this. We just have to specify these three values. I have just uh, specified these things here and setting up this analysis type as a transient and then followed by, so I set up this uh, damping parameters in the same way as it is defined uh, in this um, TCL. We are taking this modes one and three and then we are evaluating this eigenvalues here and then we are extracting uh, the eigenvalue of for first mode and eigenvalue for third mode. Actually, this lambda n is a list. Here, also, this lambda n is a list. This list has some values, like uh, if I look at here, this lambda n, here, if you look at this value, this lambda n has three values inside. So, we are interested in this first and this third one. So, here also, if I set a breakpoint here and uh, run up to that point, Let's see what the lambda n has in this here. here. So if I look at here, these are the values that I got from TCL. It's a 236.37, 244.73, and 245.03. So our TCL values and uh, this Python values, they're exactly same, the eigenvalues wise. And then we used this uh, eigenvalues in calculating this uh, omegas. And then we calculate this alpha m beta curve and uh, beta k com, beta k init, etc. values and we define this rally damping like this and followed by the load tag definition as 400. So same is used here as well followed by I'm setting up this uh, file names like this. In file is if I look at here my files are located here in this folder. The All the Python files that are written here are located here. I have defined uh, this ground motion files one step above to this folder in this gm files because just to make sure this one is common for both the python and tcl files i have defined them here so this is the original earthquake acceleration data and this is the modified one so i have just given this uh, file paths in file and out file file paths so it just reads the existing original ground motion with extension 82 and then uh, removes the header information and then keeps only the acceleration data in this file with uh, dot z3 extension and followed by have defining this uh, a dt as this particular uh, array if we define a scalar scalars are not mutable means they cannot be updated within some functions so i just defined uh, a an array like this so this dt value will be updated to the original dt value within the code for example if i put a breakpoint here and uh, debug this uh, source code so the current value in the dt is 0.0, .0 that we set here but what happens is if i 
go into this read smd file and then come back and uh, look at our value it is 0 0.005 means this value is updated with the original dt value that was defined here so we extracted this value successfully and stored it in our dt variable and this is the gm fat value here we are also defining this uh, time series in this format here we are using uh, this path time series so both are same but in python we define it like this for this we are inputting this uh, ground motion dt value and the location at which the acceleration data is available and then this uh, gm factor and then we are specifying this uh, uniform excitation pattern with this load tag 400 and then ground, ground motion direction and this time series tag these are the few input variables that we have given to this uh, time series followed by we define this uh, n steps so one way to define this n steps is this uh, t max by this dt value and the other way is to directly extract this n step value so you can define it in either way so here in this particular uh, tcl example the n steps are extracted from this uh, t max analysis that was given as an input here t max analysis that is 10 seconds so it can be anything the original ground motion length is uh, 39 seconds but for the demonstration purposes we have just considered only 10 seconds you can run it for full no problem so after that we define this uh, analyze command open sys analyze command with this n steps and uh, dt analysis if the analysis is successful then this os.analyze will return a value zero if the analysis is failed or if it has any convergence issues then it will return a negative value or some other random number so that's what we are checking here if the analysis failed that is we got any other value other than zero then we are uh, changing some properties of the analysis like uh, we are changing we are trying out with a new algorithm instead of this uh, modify newton we are trying out with uh, newton and we are reducing the number of iterations a little and uh, we are changing out this test to norm disp inker previously we used energy inker so if it was successful then that's fine if it fails then we are trying out with the Broiden algorithm keeping this uh, test command same if these two fails we are trying out with Newton line search like that upon successful completion of this earthquake so we just get like a ground motion done and this this is the end time that we have got if for example this ok is still not is equals to zero after this particular step then it just prints like a ground motion done but the end time is somewhat lesser than what we have given so if you got 10 seconds as the uh, end time then that's good because we have given up to that point after the analysis is done i just plotted the, the original building frame model just to see how it looks so this is how our uh, model looks so you can use this uh, plot model command of this open source visualization library to get uh, this kind of plots and uh, here in this plot data dot python files so if you look at this uh, data out we have got all our output files in this folder so whatever the data that we specified uh, in this recorders those data is saved here i am just uh, reading few of this data like d free r base etc into this uh, plot data dot python file so i'm just reading this d free and r base just to see whether we are getting the same results from tcl and python or not so i'm just plotting out this so if you look at the plots this is the displacement to reaction plot obtained from only this python and uh, this is the plot that we got for both uh, python and tcl so if you look at here the values so i didn't see any differences between python result and uh, opens this TCL result so they both are identical and uh, if you look at the displacement time history so up to 10 seconds they are same so we have given the maximum of 10 seconds so they are same let's try for uh, the total ground motion time that is 39 seconds in TCL we just have to modify this one as 39 and uh, save it and press ok it will do the analysis and on python side also we just have to change this value to 39 so so if i run this analysis it will take a while because 39 seconds it will take some time to so yes 39 seconds is done in python and if i look at tcl 
yes this analysis is also done so here let's plot that results so if we look at the data that quick analysis ran for 39 seconds so it was fine and the both TCL and Python results look same I didn't see any differences at any location let's zoom a little and see if we have any differences no I didn't see any differences so they are good and if I look at the reverse cyclic data this is also fine let's see if you have any differences especially at the corners no they are also good so this is how we convert uh, the TCL scripts to Python you can download this uh, Python script files that we have written so you will get the instructions to download this uh, Python script files in our first pinned comment please take a look and uh, go through this uh, Python files and let us know your feedback in the comment section that would be very helpful for us in creating our next tutorials if you have any questions or suggestions we recommend you to please write them in the comment section below the video if you like our content please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel happy learning thank you